Well, it's hard to say if machine learning can take anybody's job. Um, right now, I don't think this is possible. In a couple of years, I don't know, maybe 10, 20, 50 years, uh, it's likely depending on the development of machine learning algorithms. Right now, I don't think it's a strong possibility. Well, when training machine learning, having a lot of experience in both machine learning algorithms and both uh, security and malware especially, um, is a great asset. Um, basically, you can see things uh, from both perspectives both perspective and um, it's easier for you to um, to enhance algorithm or to see potential false positive when or overfitting when uh, training i would say that uh, knowing both security or having both security skills and knowing machine learning algorithms is a great asset for for any security company Yes, actually, I would think, well, if um, for a cyber criminal not to use machine learning, uh, at some point it will be a mistake. Basically, just as we, uh, we use machine learning to learn from uh, their behavior pattern, they can use the same uh, algorithm to learn from ours. And they can try to develop things using machine learning that will, uh, will give us a hard time. Uh, into detecting them, and uh, that's something that's very likely to happen. Yes, machine learning can backfire. It's hard to say. I mean, uh, can you can you be certain that a, sp a specific malware was modified in such a way that you don't detect it because of a machine learning algorithm? It's really hard to say. Uh, it's the same thing with uh, with uh, the malware creator guys. If they create a malware and that uh, malware is sent to our cloud and we detect it, it's hard for them to say if we detect it because we have a signature-based detection on there or because we have a very elaborate machine learning algorithm there. So yeah, it's possible for for uh, for uh, for, uh, for this to already happen. I cannot say for sure right now. <laughs>